Revolutionary, frontline standard, solitary, mind state, kind of scary. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and put me on the front line. 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 Outside my new gym. <clears throat> it's uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving. It's a really beautiful day out. It's uh, probably in the mid 70s. Not a cloud in the sky. No humidity. Nice little breeze. Um, and it's daylight, so I figured I'd give you guys a, a little tour of the outside of the gym where I'm training at right now. So take a look. We're walking in the back door a little bit. You can see he's got Atlas stones all the way up to 360 pounds. Never touched those before. Got some big tires to flip. Uh, it's got a power rack out here, so you can squat, bench, deadlift, whatever you want to do out here. Another little set of dumbbells, some ropes, a bunch of stuff that I've never used before, um, and some weights. And so, what I'm going to do today, I just did my session inside. I did like some shoulders, back, and chest stuff uh, in the, uh, using the juggernaut method. But for what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do this guy right here. I'm going to do a uh, prowler push down to that tire and flip that tire back here. Um, I don't know how many times I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna basically do it like hit cardio. Prowler push and tire will be one rep. I'm gonna try to do maybe like uh, five five or six total. Should take about you know 30 to 45 seconds per, per set. So um, just basically looking to uh, build up some conditioning, um, some strength, uh, my grip, my core. Um, so that I can get into some, uh, you know, building some muscle. So I'll see if I can film a set of this. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. Rob Bailey, the hustle standard, battle test. I'm taking this opportunity to clear this mess out of my head, to clear this blood out of my lungs. I need to dig holes <laughs> to bury the dead. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell me what a man is without pride. Tell me what a man is without fire in his eyes. Tell me who the fuck you are. You are. You are. All right, so that was one set. Uh, well, pretty good. Probably can go a little heavier on both the tire and the prowler, but I'll find a good uh, a good middle point. Whew. All right, I gotta rest now. Me frisbee. Come on, Maddie, bring it back. Come on.
Good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. Oh, so I just got back from my uh, from my workout. Walked back from the gym. It's uh, obviously gorgeous weather right now. It's um, day after Thanksgiving, and uh, being outside, it's just awesome. So playing a little fetch with my dog. She's getting her hit cardio in. Um, just wanted to review the workout today. Just um, just another juggernaut workout. That was actually my overhead press day. Hold on a second, let me throw the frisbee. It was my overhead press day, and I uh, did some some benching and some back back work, and uh, you saw a little bit of the cardio, and I did some tricep stuff. So I'm um, still getting back my um, my strength. You know, I'm trying not to rush things. It's hard on the ego to lower the weight, focus on form. You know, make sure my tendons and joints and everything are back to uh, where they need to be, so I can start pushing some heavy weight. But the nice thing about this juggernaut program is it has some built-in um, days where you uh, really test yourself and it has some built-in days where you back way off and do higher reps. Um, you know, it's got some, it's got some periods um, that are designed to actually strengthen everything so that you can uh, progress nicely. So looking forward to that. I've, you know, a lot of people on the boards have had some good success with it. So uh, basically that's it. Just gonna spend the rest of the day, I'm eat some more leftover turkey um, and uh, get ready for tomorrow's workout. Tomorrow's uh, deadlifts and uh, some squats and I'll probably find some other form of cardio to do. Um, right now I wanna keep my cardio um, pretty regular. Um, keep my weight down, my body fat levels low so that when I do start increasing calories, it's for the right reasons. Um, so uh, that's it for now. I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long Even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man who didn't deserve it He be treated like a punk, you know it's unheard of You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying in the shop I really hate the trip, but I got to know As the cool, I see myself in the pistol slow school I'm the kind of G that all the homies want I'll be like on my knees in the night Saying prayers in the street light Been spending most of their life Living in gangsters paradise Been spending most of their lives Living in gangsters paradise They got the situation I can never know my life I was raised by this shit Could have been damn with a hood team Too much television What you got me chasing dreams I'm an educated fool with money on my mind Got the tin in my hand And the gleam in my eye Low down on sad trip back And my homies are mad So don't around saying the a fool If they're nothing but a heartbeat away Living life to a guy What can I say? 23 will I live to ever see when if by the way things are going, I don't know Tell me why are we so blind to see That the ones we heard are you and me Say, I've been spending most of their lives Living in gangster's paradise Been spending most of their lives Living in all right, well, here we are at the end of uh, week one of my first week training, uh, pretty much full speed back in the gym. Uh, we're two weeks post uh, November 10th contest. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Uh, it was two days ago, sorry. So uh, the gym by my house I've been, I've been um, training at. Jumped into the juggernaut method, <clears throat> um, downloaded the ebook, and I uh, really uh, like the idea that some of the principles that it applies. Um, it really lets you build up to hitting some um, some new PRs. It's got some built-in phases for uh, reps and weights. And um, I didn't want to jump right back into heavy lifting too quickly. I wanted to give my core, my ligaments, my joints, everything uh, you know, a couple weeks to uh, get adjusted. So, beginning of the week, I was struggling a little bit, honestly. Even just squatting and deadlifting like 200 pounds was um, was feeling heavy. But as the week progressed, the last two days, I felt really good. Um, I've been really sore when I got to the gym, but the great thing about this gym, um, they have everything you need here. So I was foam rolling for like 20 minutes prior to my workouts, doing some um, 
doing some stuff that I saw Bryce Lewis doing, some skips, some, um, some back stretches and all that stuff. And so when I got into my working sets, I felt great. It's uh, Saturday at 1 o'clock and um, the gym is empty. I have the whole place to myself right now. The, uh, the, the owner, Randy, just left. Uh, I was in the middle of a deadlift set. He said, uh, have fun. Lock the door when you leave. So uh, I'm really loving this new gym. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Uh, so tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to take the day off and I'm going to jump right into the next week. Uh, my weight has been great. Um, the reverse is going well. Uh, I put a few pounds on that I wanted to, but now I'm going to control it. I'm not going to gain any more weight. I'm going to stay within a certain range and um, not put on any more weight until I feel like I need to. Uh, I feel much better than before. Um, and as the, as the weeks progress and I start testing myself and really finding out where my uh, calorie levels need to be uh, for maintenance and uh, maybe just above, uh, it is nice to have a surplus of uh, carbohydrates and feel full every day, um, feel filled out. Um, it's a completely different feeling to have energy and um, just being enjoying the day and not be thinking about uh, you know, what I have to do. Instead, I look forward to what I get to do in the gym. So it's been really, um, it's been really fun getting back into it. Um, I'm eyeing a powerlifting meet in uh, April or May or March or whenever I start to feel like I can hit some PRs. Um, so that's it for week one. We've got a nice tour of the gym. Um, pro physique has been doing phenomenal. Uh, I've been getting a lot of contacts, a lot of new clients, some, um, some really good clients who are gonna do some, some impressive things this year. So I'm really excited about that. Um, just a lot to look forward to. So keep in touch. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments or things I do wrong or, you know, anything. I just like getting feedback. You know, I've got some good responses from these videos and um, so I'm gonna keep doing them and, and enjoy giving back and if anyone ever needs anything from me, just let me know. Email me. Uh, be sure to uh, hit up my sponsors, Cybation. Uh, obviously the best supplements around. Um, Outwork Apparel, great stuff. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye.